serious. What is the biggest secret you've kept from your parents? I make more money than I let on. My parents have and will always be there. I take care of you all your life. Time for you to pay it back type of parent. Except there is no end to this debt. So I hide money from them so they can't take advantage of me. Same. The entire time I was growing up my mom constantly reminded me she could legally sue me for $10,000 when I was 18 for raising me. This is my biological mother. I grew up scared. With this threat over my head it seemed pointless to try to make anything of myself. By the time I was old enough to know better, the mentality had sunk in and I was pretty much a huge loser until I was about 22. Edit to clarify. No, your parents cannot sue you for the cost of raising you. It was said to incite fear and generally be an asshole parent. My mum doesn't know I've been arrested twice, one time with my dad. Story time? First time, was on a night out in central London with bunch of my mates, stepped out of the club for a second to grab some cash, then bouncers refused to let me in until I got some water from the shop across the road. Did that and they refused me, told me to have more water, then still wouldn't let me in. So spent the rest of the night arguing with bouncers and getting carried out after running in whilst they were distracted. Was adamant about getting my £10 entry fee back. Ended up having an argument with the manager until I got the money. Then as I was walking away, police were blocking me. Tried pushing them out the way cause I was desperate for a kebab at that point. Ended up getting taken to the station and was in a cell for a night. And hit with an £80 fine. Second time was out with my dad after going to the football and having some beers. Late in the night, we were in a pub with a narrow corridor at the entrance, and whilst my dad was there texting his missus, some fella bumped into him and started on him, so I waded in to break it up, and the three of us spilled into the street. I ended up getting cuffed in the middle of the road and carried off to the station. My old man was dragged in behind me whilst I was getting processed. Next morning a copper who actually went to school with my dad, had to ring my grandma to pick us up. She was worried and asked them if they knew where I was, and got a bit of a shock when they said I was there as well. Luckily the incident was caught on CCTV, so no fine that time. I met the guy my mom told me was my real father. We did a DNA test and there is a 0% chance. He even took me on a white water rafting trip with his wife and son. I've never told her. Did you do the DNA match through one that could connect you with family? Your father, siblings, cousins? No, I think we just used a government one. I'm not upset by it or super keen on finding my bio dad, as I have a dad who raised me, who also doesn't know I did this. It was more of a curiosity thing, and he wanted to know if he had another kid. I'm more curious cause I would wanna know backgrounds, or if there is any illness I could be prone to. Hum, any chance your dad is your bio dad? Makes me wonder why your mom is so far off the mark. I had a roommate who took a 23andMe test and found out her dad was not her biological father. He's at least 50% Choctaw. She had nearly no trace of Native American DNA. She's the middle child and both her siblings look way more like her dad. Unfortunately her mother is pretty far gone into dementia. So asking her isn't going to help either. She decided not to bring it up with her dad, at least for the time being. But I could tell the news hurt pretty bad. When I was in the 7th grade, I started to get into porn, and my favorite, for some reason, was guy on guy stuff even though I'm a girl. Anyways, I didn't know how anything but YouTube worked, so I ended up downloading like 3 gay porn videos on my phone, and I had an Android. So when I deleted the videos the download history was still in my phone. For some reason my mom took my phone and went through it, and sat me down and asked me about the one she found on it. But for some more context I had to keep my phone in the living room at night and could only have it during the day. Now I'm not proud of this but I'm a good liar. But in this situation I didn't have to do much lying, because as soon as I started crying and saying I didn't do it. She immediately believed me and blamed it on my stepdad, saying that she had a suspicion that he was gay through their whole relationship and all that. After that she never confronted him and just continued to stay with him even though she thought he was gay, and that's when I realized my mom was a gold digger. Well that escalated. Shit just went from 1 to 10 to 100 real fast. 
When I was around 14, I overheard my parents arguing. My mom was yelling at my dad about some porn searches on the computer. It was really me that was going on the computer in their room and watching porn. He kept denying it, and she kept calling him a liar. He slept in the guest bedroom for a month after that fight. Your dad knew and totally had your back. He knew it wasn't him, but I also have two other brothers. For all he knew it could have been one of them. He never said anything to any of us as far as I know. He had your back, you and your brothers. And his own, let's not be naive now. I am fully aware of my father's extramarital affairs. I was too, but then he told me about them because my mom found out. A really disturbing, and on some levels disgusting moment. He gave me bullshit that my mom had at one point agreed to have an open relationship, but then in the end he proceeded to have an affair that he tried to keep secret. I told him that if they had really agreed to an open relationship, then he needs to talk to my mom about what the terms actually are and apologize for keeping the affair a secret. He later texts me that night that she blew up, and that I have ruined his life. My dad told me that I ruined his life because of his affair. I know this is unrelated, and I apologize, but that shit hurt and I needed to get it off my chest. Especially after seeing comments about awareness towards parental infidelity. My mom always wondered why I didn't have friends in high school, and it is because we were broke and I knew she was struggling, so I refused any time people wanted to do things, so I wouldn't ask for money, then in my last year of high school I worked full time, so I had no time to make friends. Ah. I'm kinda the same but different. Been working 7 days a week, between 8 10 and 12 hour shifts every day for the past couple months, because I had friends who had thought I was really close with. But loads of shit happened and turns out they're not really my friends. I left their group, and now I have very few friends. Just been working loads and loads to kill the time, all the while seeing all their snapchat stories and stuff of them going out and enjoying themselves. Plus side as I got about 5000 saved up now, which is good I guess, but no one to spend it on. When I was at Walmart with my mom, and I stole two of those big cartons full of Pokemon cards took the cards and stuffed them in my back pocket. I planned the whole robbery a week before. I was the best robber at 9. I recorded Gundam Wing Endless Waltz over my sister's high school graduation video. It's been about 18 years, but I still feel bad. That I don't love them. I care about them in the way I care for a hurt stranger, but I won't be crying when they die, except for over the stress of handling the funeral and finding a place for their kid and animals to live. Edit, some explanation, also thanks for all the positive words and glad it helped some of you. Run debts in my name and never helped me out, for example I was homeless twice in my mid 20s, but I couldn't stay with them apparently. At 18 I still didn't have a license because I couldn't borrow their car. Eventually saved up and paid for lessons. Not that I could afford a car until a few years later. At 20 had a job interview at a well paying company, asked if they could drive me an hour to get there or let me drive. Their greed, and day of going they never showed up. Wrecked my ability when I lived with them from 16 to 22 by going off almost every week leaving me with a kid and animals. A lot more that I'm not going to talk about. Second edit. Yes the kid is related to me and would be a sibling, and no we don't have a good relationship, and no not all is his fault. But for my mental health I won't associate with him, I will help him out as far as setting him up, but that's it. Parents are, and raised me to be, staunch Mormon. For those unfamiliar, Mormons believe their church is the only true church on earth. I don't believe it's true. They think I still go, but it's infrequent at best. Edit, a lot of people are commenting, don't all religions think they are true? Yes, but there's a difference. Mormons believe themselves to be Christians, but don't believe that's enough. Part of being the one true church means that you have to be baptized in this church. Proper authority, this church has living prophets, you have to get married in a temple to get to the top step of heaven, and so forth. Stepping away from the church, even within the realm of Christianity still means damnation to Mormons. Edit 2. By damnation, I mean this. Mormons don't believe general people go to hell. Hell is reserved for people who had a full knowledge of Jesus Christ and rejected it. 
Rather, because Mormons believe they can become gods if they reach the tippy top of the three heavens, where they can have eternal progression, anything short of eternal progression is, by definition, damnation. That I'm not going to finish my degree, and I've paid off my student loans. My degree was pointless, and I don't do well in school due to my ADHD. My dad constantly asks when I'm going to finish and stop bartending. I just say soon. I hate disappointing them because my dad gets very proud of my sister and I with our accomplishments, but truth be told, I'm quite content with the 60,000 I make bartending. My degree would have only pulled 35,000 starting. That's a ducking good bartender's job, I would stay too. Yeah I don't need to pull in 6 figures. I'm content with where I'm at. I live comfortably, travel 2-3 times a year, and I even just recently paid off my car. I kept the truth of how I got my big ass scar on my forearm secret for like 15 years. Well? Lol right, well I had a rolled metal bed frame, and one of the posts snapped off leaving a pretty good sharp point that was pretty avoidable. Anyway I'm like 16 and get drunk with my older brother, he takes a box cutter and slices it across my neck, I freak the duck out, realize I'm perfectly okay, so I snatch it from him, proceed to open it all the way, and slice it down my arm leaving a huge bloody gash that required 21 stitches, I thought he had the cutter open when he did it in my neck, so I just assumed hey this is okay. We tell my mom, grandma. Pretty much any concerned party that I fell next to the bed and my arm slide across the part of the metal. They had no idea I left my job with the cable company to sell cars slash write up oil changes for almost a year. I was emotionally burnt out from the bullshit and couldn't take it anymore, so I tried switching careers. Didn't really pan out, but it did get me away from that toxic shithole of a company, and allowed me to figure out what I actually wanted to do, and go from there.